take all that. Take this. Oh, I've got to get used to attacking with O and picking up things with X. And on this keyboard, it's only the more awkward. The safety of the area up ahead has been confirmed. Move on to search other areas. Okay. Goody. Nothing, darn. Oh, I wish those doors would open on their own, please. Thank you. I was gonna say, I think usually these monster gates still keep spitting out monsters while you fight. And you gotta have a key. Dead end. Joy. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No? Nope. That's to the sanctuary. Ugh. Okay. This way. Here we are. The only thing they're being helpful with is making this extremely easy. I mean, we only take one damage. There we go. Was that the last one? I guess I'd better head back to my dad. Hmm, I get that. Okay. There we go, good, easy connect back. Great job, men! Thanks to your quick action, we were able to drive off the monsters. However, as you must already know, this wasn't the first time Green Sleeves has been invaded by monsters. So the monsters have invaded Greensleeves, just like at Larsile Fort. Until recently, despite their ferocious nature, they haven't invaded inhabited areas. Except for that dark time, 13 years ago. 
the increased activity of the monsters and rising crimson moon both match the events of 13 years ago. But I thought the Clan of the Moon was wiped out 13 years ago. I heard that Captain Gaia killed the last remains of the clan back then. Right. I thought so too. As for the recent surge of strange occurrences, I'd like to ask not only Eucratus, but also neighboring countries, such as Feldland and Erinor, for cooperation in investigating this matter further. Yet, don't assume that all of this is caused by the Clan of the Moon. Don't even mention them. We don't need to spread unnecessary panic. Yes, sir! All right. That is all for today. Squad 1, continue investigating the enemy's method of entry. Squad 2, work on repairing the barriers. I will report all this to Chairperson Rebecca. Max, what will you do? I'll go with you. Besides, it'd be nice to see Grandma Rebecca, seeing as how I just got back and all. And Dad? What is it, Max? Uh, never mind. I'll tell you when we get there. Let's get going. Very well. Gaia joins the party. Let's heal up whatever small wounds I have. Okay, let's look here. Don't think that's... It's the only way we can go. Never mind! Is this snow? Hmm. <laughs> Okay, maybe we're supposed to check with one of these, talk with one of these guards. Nope. Ah, uh, that's their ship port. Okay. C Captain, I'm terribly sorry, sir. There we go. What is the problem, Lenny? What is it that you apologize for? I, I... I skipped my training, and I didn't have the guts to fight. I was too afraid to face the monster's ferocious attacks. Captain, I do not dare ask for your forgiveness. I deserve to be punished. Lenny, tell me, what is the Holy Guard? It is an organization formed to protect the Force Crystals, which lie in the three sanctuaries, Greensleeves, Quincine, and Hyatt. That's right. However, Sanctuary also means a place of peace. We must also protect such sanctuaries. Holy Guard only accepts those who wish to protect the people. If you can no longer fulfill your duties, then leave us now, this instant. Cap Captain? Nobody can force you to protect the people. You must do it of your own accord. Lenny, the decision is yours. Captain. What a fool I've been. My motive for joining the Holy Guard had almost slipped away from me. I will continue to stay true. I beg you to please, please keep me under your wing. Very well. Th thank you, sir. What's the matter, Max? Um, nothing. Should we head down to Grandma's? Okay, there we go. That's better. I thought we might need to talk with one of them. There we go. Thank you, game, for giving us such specific instructions. Makes my life a lot easier. Let's save. Oh boy, 40 minutes already. No, that's the Shopping Arcade. Force Arts. Ah, okay. Here we go. You've got to love the ins specific instructions. 
Thank you. Oh, Max, you're back. And you've grown up so much. Well, here I am. I'm home, Grandma. It's been two years, and you still look like you've got more growing to do. Hmm. And there's a new look about you, too. Full of strength and spirit. Just as Graham said in his telegram. <laughs> so, how was your training? Hmm. Seeing as how Master Graham is a centaur, I could hardly keep up with him. He's fast and strong. It wasn't that fair at first. But I've improved so much. I feel so much stronger than before. Yet, when I saw Father use his Gaia Nova right in front of me, I lost some confidence in my abilities. <laughs> Don't worry. You can't possibly be as strong as Gaia in such a short time. Still, you're the first student of Graham's harsh training to receive a recommendation. He considers you worthy of the ordeal of the Force. Exactly, Grandma! I want to be a Force! I want to undertake the ordeal of the Force! Hmm, yes, about that... Max, I cannot allow you to take the ordeal. What? If you want to join the Holy Guard, I would gladly welcome you. Yet, as leader of the Green Sleeves Holy Guard, I cannot allow you to become a force. There you go again! You never let me try! I admit that I wasn't good enough back then, and now I understand why you wouldn't let me undertake the ordeal. But it's different now! Master Graham, an active force, recognized my abilities! An active force! And you're still... How can you keep saying the same thing you told me two years ago? You haven't changed at all! Dad, say something! How much more training will it take for you to understand that I'm ready? Until I'm good enough for you? There's no doubt that you've improved. And I'm sure as far as your strength is concerned, you can handle the ordeal of a force. Then why won't you... And yet, there is still one fatal flaw that keeps you from becoming a force. I became aware of it when we fought at the training grounds. Huh? What the hell could that be? What flaw? You'll tell me, won't you? It is not something so easily fixed. Sheesh! Regardless, I want you to leave ahead of me and go home. I'll need to make a report of our recent battle to Chairperson Rebecca. Monsters invaded the town again, no? I could see the light of Gaia Nova even from here. Besides, from the looks of things, I assume the whole affair has subsided without too much difficulty, right? Yes, well... Then you can make your report later. I'd like to speak with Max for a bit. Why don't you go back to your men and see if they need any help? But, Chairperson... Listen to me, young man. The peace of a town is important, but don't forget your family as well. Someone as clumsy with his tongue as you should leave Max to me. Yes, ma'am. I will return. Gaia leaves the party. And please hurry up the scene. <sighs> well, well. Are you all calmed down now, my dear? Yeah, I guess. Grandma, what's my flaw? Tell me, do you know what it is? Dad said he could tell from only one fight. Doesn't that mean the problem lies somewhere in my technique? But then he says I'm capable of undertaking the ordeal of a force. I just don't know what to think anymore. Oh, my poor child. I know just what flaw Gaia is talking about. But I wouldn't call it a flaw. If anything, Max, consider it your greatest asset. How could my flaw be my greatest asset?